Who knows? Maybe Astrid won't be around for very long. Ooh. You've read this before. Uh, thank you, Valley. Empire of the Vampire. I'm on page 72, and we are annotating it and tabbing it. Here's what the tabs look like so far. This book is going to be, like, really full of them. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But, like, that's a lot of tabs already. <laughs> You're telling me that's going to be, like, the whole thing? Yeah. It's probably going to take me a while to read it, too. But... Honestly, that's a good idea. I might do something off camera really quick. Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. It's really good so far. I'm really liking it. Only select ones. Typically, I try to do this with all of my fantasies because it, it just like makes my experience so much better. I don't know what it is. I used to hate English in school, and of course now I'm like obsessed with literature, which is insane. But oh my gosh, the artwork is so beautiful. It is seriously so beautiful. I guess I could I'm gonna show you guys again because I showed that earlier, but who knows how many people are in here. That have still seen the artwork that I showed. I'm only going to show the ones that I've seen because I don't want to spoil the story for myself. Um, this was the most recent one. And then this one's pretty cool. This is the main character, Gabriel, covered in tattoos, <laughs> just how I like him. Um, vampire stuff until I sat down to open it and read it and I was like oh, stop it right now that just makes it so much better it makes it so much better here's um I think this is our main character again yeah this is Gabriel again I think yeah yeah <laughs> Yep. I'll be right back actually, okay? Oh, thanks Kaylin. Aren't you so happy you gifted me this book? I actually am very happy you got me this book. Oh, I, Tim, I already think it's gonna be a five star and I'm 70 pages in. And I wrote on my Goodreads, I uploaded my like reading update on my goodreads at like page 20. Knew. you know you ever just pick up those books and you're like i know that this is gonna be good and it is <laughs> anyways i will be right back This is the first time I'm using this specific system. Um, red is for what the F. Orange is for characters because I always forget characters' names. So that's just to help me keep track, especially in fantasy because there's always so many characters. Pink is romance. Yellow is funny. Green is plot or world building. Teal is just my favorite scenes. Usually there's not very many of those. <laughs> there is already one though. Light blue is for power moves. Like... You know, they, they say something and you're just like, that was good. Like, you really did that. Um, 
blue is for sad and then purple is for quotes that I see myself wanting to like read again in the future. And that is what I tap. And then I am also writing like little remarks with the tabs. This book is going to be really fun. Like when it's finished to like just go through and just like do this. That's like the best part about tabbing is you get to just look. I was drawing it. <laughs> the girl got pissed off at him and was like, why is this peasant having justice? Because justice is the horse's name. She's mad that this peasant took her horse. Honestly, I don't really care if there's romance. It's just a plus, you know, like sometimes I'm in the mood for romance. You're going to sleep but not leaving? What, just so that you can sit in here? That's kind of ridiculous, but I'm not gonna tell you to do otherwise. <laughs> Hi, mommy, <laughs> please. Oh, geez. That, I'm gonna mark that as a power move because that is a power move. I do have a feeling I'm gonna like Astrid. I'm actually going to write that. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I spelled the word wrong. And then we mark it as a power move. Valley, did you just send... Did you just send a... Oh. I always forget. This is the first time I've used, I'm using this specific color system with a book before, so I'm like, I have to keep check, like keep track of what the colors mean because I haven't learned them yet. What does it look like I'm doing? What do I mark? I mark, <laughs> should I go through the color? Like, I liked the first one, but the second book was better. And I was like, that's always the best though in series. Like, cause you already know the world. That's what I love about series is you can just pick up where you left off and just keep reading. But I'm, I have started a lot of series that I have not completed, which is bad on my part. But if I really want to continue the series, I'll continue it. But yeah okay i'm gonna read now <laughs> dang this girl is ballsy do you remember how i said earlier that this girl we're still good okay we're gonna get back to reading i don't know how much longer i'm gonna read for but I'm actually reading, so I'm not going to be sad when I go to sleep and I'm like, dang, I haven't read it all. I'm going to do it right now, because why not? I really want to turn the music back on. It was? Okay, good. I still need to read The Hunger or The Shadow of the Gods, Tim, because I bought the second one. I don't know if you can see it in the back right there. <laughs> I already bought the second one because I know I'm going to love it. <laughs> if I like this one, I mean, I don't know. I just hope that this will put me back in my fantasy mood because I want to be in a fantasy mood. But also the romances, they're just, they're really good too. So I think I'm going to try to do like every other. I haven't gotten far yet. I saw, I think, I don't know who posted.